peeps, how you doing? Welcome to Miss from 500. I've got another tip for you today, but I just wanted to say massive welcome to Irene and Natasha who has joined us on our one of our Mission 500 memberships. Welcome guys, welcome, so excited for you. Uh, so today we're gonna to talk about extended butterfly uh, and in part of those structured lessons that you have just joined guys on that membership, you'll learn extended butterfly in there anyway. Anyway, let's get stuck in how to transition. <clears throat> from your basic butterfly. So maybe you've got a strong butterfly and you're like, what do I do now to transition into an extended butterfly? Now, of course, of, all, of, course, <laughs> of course, you will still be building your strength through the intermediate level. So I go intermediate, basic butterfly, um, higher intermediate, extended. So through that transitional period, you're going to be working on building your strength, okay? So you don't want to just do butterfly once and go, I've got it, let's go into extended butterfly because there's lots of other moves that you can do to develop your strength. Uh, one of the moves that I love to do pole based is a caterpillar or one handed caterpillar, generally because I want to make sure you've got that pushing strength and technique. Does that make sense? Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to quickly show you that. So I'm going to show you what the extended butterfly looks like, then I'm going to show you uh, the caterpillar, and then I'm going to show you a tip on how to get your extended butterfly. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Okay, so that is it, your extended butterfly. So we need to make sure we've got enough strength going through that bottom arm. Um, does that make sense? Because obviously we're gonna be taking off a gripping point with your leg. You're gonna still have your heel on, but we're gonna take most of your calf off the pole. So we need to make sure that your arms are strong enough. So one-handed caterpillars, I think, are brilliant. Of course, I think working on floor-based stuff, uh, pushing moves and core-based base moves are super important. Um, again, if you're part of our membership, you can come and join the uh, core blast and body blast. There's lots of exercises in there. I think there's like 30 workouts of each. So there's lots to choose from. So in particular, if you go for body blast, look for pushing moves, okay? Uh, things like push-ups, tricep dips, um, planks, anything that can work on the pushing, that will be really beneficial. And then any other core blast will be fine. Um, so getting into a one-handed caterpillar, we're gonna do one-handed caterpillar. You can have both hands to start with, then take one hand off, and then we can do one where you just use one hand initially, okay? So getting into an inverted crucifix position, okay? Then we can have both hands on the pole, gonna push away, push down, arms by your ears, so push, push, push. Then you can see if you can take one hand off, okay? Take it out, extend it outside. Then we're going to place it back on and then do the same with the other, okay? So you can work on holding that, okay? If you can't hold it, that's what you want to work on, is being able to hold that. Um, you know, aim for like three seconds and then build up. Uh, make sure you do both hands as well. You can also swap your legs around. You can also invert the other side, okay? Make sure you get both sides in there. Then you can also work on the one-handed, just pushing up with one hand rather than both. So we just get used to that technique of making sure it's just that one arm strength, which is why it's important to do both sides. So, in that, crucifix, exactly the same. This time, just one hand on, okay? I'm gonna take the other hand behind my back, other hand on, push away, push down, okay? Come down, hand again, push away, push down. And then you can also work on holding. Can you see how close my head is to the pole? If you're out here, this is not good technique. Can you see this line? Wrist to shoulder and then shoulders are up. We need that in a nice straight line, okay? So that's one of the exercises that I recommend all my students to do to build their strength and confidence uh, for, for extending, okay? Making sure you've got that pushing strength nailed and the technique right. Because so many people say, oh, I've got a really good butterfly, I'm confident in my butterfly, but their technique's off, just like I showed you, where it's not in a quite straight line. So get that nailed first. So once you've started to build that strength and you've done all your off the pole training as well, off the pole training is just as important as, important as on the pole training, then we're gonna have a look at how to go from your butterfly to your extended. Now, so my tip for this is actually rotating the knee away from the pod, okay? So when you're nice and strong, you've got your butt up, super strong because that bottom arm, you need to stay strong. The minute you start to move your leg, if the bottom arm bends, we're not quite ready, okay? 
So maybe the, you might be just practicing that for a little while. So if we think about your butterfly position, okay, so you've got your leg on the pole like so. What we want to be doing is obviously we want to get to the heel. So you've got this gap, okay, so the bottom part of your calf towards the heel, you've got that curve, that's why we're going to sit it, okay? So what we're going to do, instead of just trying to slide it out, we're actually just going to turn the knee away from the pole, okay? And this will allow you to get that hook. Then we can start to extend, 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 and then you're not going to want to extend too much. You're, you're going to want to keep with that pole because you're so used to it. But the more we can keep the foot pointed and the more the knee is angled out, the more that hook will stay, okay? And you'll be able to catch it. Again, super important to keep those arms straight. The minute those arms start to bend, you're gonna fall down. So if you're practicing this for the first time, try and use a spotter, and um, also use crash mats as well if you've got them. I recommend getting some if you haven't got them. Um, super, super important, okay? So anytime you just, I would always like wash down the pole, wash your hands, put grip on. Um, anytime that you're training anything strength-based, because you will get quite sweaty quite quickly. And uh, yeah, so just wash your hands in between each time you try it. That's what I do. So does that make sense? So now we understand we're going from here, knee out to here. Now it's just working that on the pump, which is a little bit scary, especially if you're tired from just working the uh, one-handed caterpillars, okay? So take your time with this. It's gonna take, you know, maybe a few weeks to build your strength up to be able to get this. So don't expect the quick fix. So once you've gone into your butterfly, we're just taking that knee out, okay? That little tip, right? So if you've got a nice, strong butterfly, like so, I'm going to turn that knee away from the pole, then you can extend it and you can straighten the back leg, okay? Pulling with the heel, calf is on, and then I can bring my back leg around, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah? Um, so yeah, so for me, the biggest tip is taking the knee out and start to extend as much as you can. Keeping strong in their arms, working those caterpillars like nobody's business. Okay, so that was just a really quick speedy tip for you. I'll be back live tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited. If you want to learn in a progressional order, uh, join the Mission 500 membership right now. It will give you, uh, it will give you our foundational um, structured lessons, going from beginner to advanced, okay? So you work through the beginner level, then the higher beginner, and you'll build up your strength and technique as you go along. If you've got access to the first membership, um, then you'll have all the core blasts and body blasts. And if you want both, message, message me and I will tell you what the options are on getting everything, okay? Um, because we, it's really important that your, your training is rounded. If you're just doing um, pole lessons after pole lessons and not building your strength around it, you're going to plateau at some point. So let's make sure that we're building that strength up. Any questions, just let me know about that and uh, I'll speak to you tomorrow.